Hello friends, in this lesson we shall derive some formulae related to motion. Say a vehicle is accelerating in a straight line with constant acceleration. As we saw in the last lesson, acceleration A is equal to change in velocity by time taken. That is delta V divided by T. Remember Greek sign delta denotes change. So delta V means change in velocity. So delta V is equal to final velocity V minus initial velocity U. So A is equal to V minus U divided by T. From this equation we get V is equal to U plus A into T. So we use this formula to find final velocity V given initial velocity U, acceleration A and time taken T. Let's find another formula. If the object is traveling at a uniform acceleration that is increase in speed is same for every time interval then average velocity is equal to v plus u by 2 but we know average velocity is equal to displacement s by time taken t so as left hand side looks same for both the equations we can say v plus u by 2 is equal to s by t we put the value of v is equal to u plus at on the left hand side to remove v from the equation so we get u plus at plus u divided by 2 is equal to s by t that is 2u plus at by 2 is equal to s by t t goes to other side so this reduces to s equal to ut plus half at square we use this formula to find displacement s given initial velocity u, acceleration a and time taken t. Now let us derive another formula. We know acceleration a is equal to v minus u by t or t is equal to v minus u by a. And we know average velocity v plus u by 2 is equal to s by t. So taking t to the other side we get v plus u by 2 into t is equal to s and if we substitute t by v minus u by a that we got earlier this becomes v plus u by 2 into v minus u by a is equal to s the 2 and a on the denominator goes to the other side so it becomes v plus u into v minus u is equal to 2 a s from algebra we know x plus y into x minus y equal to x square minus y square so it becomes v square minus u square equal to 2 a s this is another formula we can use if time taken is not given so the three formulae are v is equal to u plus a t s equal to u t plus half a t square and v square minus u square equal to 2 a s so whenever we get a word problem or real life problem on motion first we need to decide which formula is applicable based on which values we know in the next lesson we will solve some real life problems using these formulae bye bye